In this video, I'm going to show you track lanes advanced in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, we went over the basics of track lanes and comping. In this video, we're going to go through it a bit deeper, showing you more advanced features. But as a review, I have a project in front of me here and I want to record a guitar solo. I have a guitar track set up with the input, and let's record our first pass. Now by default, if we record a second pass, it's gonna create takes, which you could see if you go to the options menu, new recording that overlaps existing media items, it's gonna create new takes by default. But now in Reaper 7, we could add lanes right here. Or we could just do it by changing the track to a fixed lane track. Just right click it, go down here to fixed item lanes, and that changes our track to a fixed item track, meaning we could record multiple lanes in this track. So now let's record another pass. So now we have two passes of a guitar solo. We can switch between them right here, one and two. But to record a third. Now we have three passes and three lanes. Let's take our track out of record. We can hear them back one at a time. and pick which performance we prefer. Let's say we liked the third one. We could right click it, go to delete lanes, and delete all the lanes that are not playing. Now we just have our keeper lane, and we could turn off this fixed lane track right here. Now we just have that one performance. But obviously that's not very flexible as we can't go back or save those old takes with this method. Instead, if we still preferred this third pass, we could just right click over here and show and play only one lane. Now we just see this one lane. Although we can still switch our lanes right here, two and three, and accidentally choose the wrong one. To be more careful, we can go up here and right click and disable fixed lanes from here. Or let's put it back. We can just right click and turn off fixed item lanes, which will do the same thing. Now we're back to a regular track, but we didn't delete the other lanes. We just hid them. We can right click, go back to fixed item lanes, or do it over here, re enable fixed lanes. Now we have those lanes again, which we could choose from from here very easily. But this is still not the most flexible way to choose the best performances. We might wanna choose them based on each phrase. So for that, we could do comping. We could right click, go to comping and choose comp into new empty lane, which creates a new lane up here, which we can comp into. And notice around here around the button, it's a brownish gold, letting us know comping is turned on. We can double click the button to turn comping off. And now we choose our lanes like this. But if we double click it again, comping is back on. And now we can choose it based on phrases known as swipe comping. Notice how the cursor changes to a comping tool. Now we can just choose comping areas like this and choose them phrase by phrase. So I can choose this phrase or this phrase and we can hear them in context and we're seeing it up here, the result of what we chose down here. And we could 
choose different comps just by selecting them right here or using the T key. Type T to go to lane two or three or back to one or hit Shift T to go backwards. Back to three, two, and one. So you can use a keyboard shortcut based on where our mouse or cursor is. Put it here and just switch lanes that easily or click on them this way. But let's delete this comp lane by right clicking, go to delete lanes, delete lane. Now we lost our comp and I'm gonna show you a shortcut. Instead of creating a new empty lane, we can create one that's automatically creating comp areas. So that based on the size of the items we recorded in our lanes. So if we choose this, it starts with lane one chosen based on the size of the item we recorded. So we don't have to create that comp area like this. It's already created, but we could still create new ones like this. But notice we have to do it in the lanes that aren't chosen. If we choose over here and drag, it moves that comp area, which is useful for certain things. If we want to change the comp area based on both sides, but personally, I find it easier just to drag it from this side or this side to adjust those comp areas. Create a new one over here, readjust it over here, and it adjusts the size of the comp area instead of doing it over here. So if you prefer that, like I do, we could change the mouse modifier to always create new comp areas when we drag either here or here. So let's go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, and scroll down to editing behavior and mouse modifiers. Make sure we're in the context fixed lane comp area and left drag. By default, it's gonna move our comp areas, but we could change it to add comp areas or create them instead. And notice all the other options that are available with modifiers, along with a bunch that aren't being used. So if you still prefer that old behavior, we could put them over here, although I rarely use it. So now, if I drag even in an already created comp area, it's gonna create a new one. And if I wanna heal it, Alt Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac, just click here to heal the comp areas. So it doesn't look as messy. But now, I could just create some like this and then comp through them, hearing this in context. And we're done comping. We can double click this button. And we're no longer in comping mode. Hitting T doesn't change the comping areas and clicking here doesn't change them either. As now we could edit our items like a typical Reaper track. But if we wanna go back to comping, just double click this again and we can re-choose our areas. Or we can collapse this by right clicking Show play only lane. Now we just see our comp lane, taking up less screen real estate. But we can still comp from here. As we can see, we're still seeing the goldish brown, letting us know comping is on. We can double click to turn comping off, but we can still choose lanes from here. Go down to lane one, two, and three, or to our comp, or go up the other direction even though comping is off. And we could also comp down over here. Notice these arrows, letting us know which lane we chose. We can go to three, back to one, and so on. Notice it only chooses from our lane choices. Then we could double click to turn off comping. Now we just see our comp and we don't see those arrows. Although, like I said before, we could still accidentally choose different lanes from here if you don't want to do that, right click up here and either hide that button so it doesn't show up over here. Hitting T doesn't change our lanes, but my preferred way is to right click it and disable fixed lanes completely. And now we don't see those lanes and we can't accidentally 
recomp them or choose the wrong lane. Although we could right click to go back to see our lanes again and recomp them if we want. Or we could always right click the track, turn fixed item lanes off, and now they're off again. Again, we can't choose different takes. The arrows don't show up down here, but we could right click at any point and re enable them here. Or just turn on fixed item lanes again. Then we could choose our lanes or double click to recomp. Now, because of the length of this video, I've divided it into two parts. Check out part two next. So that's pretty much it. That's track lanes advanced in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!